How are you feeling, Lee? I'm really excited. I'm excited to be on the river. Um, it's been nice being in the city and getting everything ready, but it's, um, it's time to be camping along the shoreline um, of the river and just to see the things that we've learned about yesterday. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> a little snacking before the river. About to sit out on the sanitary canal. I need my sustenance. Woo! Putting stuff in boats. Ready to go. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey. Well, uh, we are trying to figure out if we can paddle through well, not paddle through the Asian carp barrier, but if we can get out and walk around them. Um, and we have had some conflicting information. We've called a lot of people and talked to some people who boat up and down the waterway a lot. And now we are chatting with you as Coast Guard who um, nicely came by unexpectedly so that we could, well, not for us, but they're answering some of our questions and we're hoping to find out if we can walk around. Cool. Hey, I'm Jess. Um, so we've just pulled up to a launch on the Des Plaines um, River because we found out that we could indeed pour, um, canoe the sanitary canal, but uh, it would be a two mile portage around. Um, and we've already got a pretty late start. It's 1.51 right now. Um, so we have a late start to the day and we don't think that that was feasible for us to do. So we've decided to instead canoe down the Des Plaines River, which runs alongside the, can the sanitary canal, and they will meet up further south. So through the trees right there, you can see a wall, and that is the shipping and sanitary canal wall. We're just viewing it from the Des Plaines River right now. So, an interesting new dimension to the story of keeping Asian carp out of the um, Great Lakes. Uh, so, to my right here is this fence made up of this um, quarter inch uh, wire mesh fence. Um, that will prevent uh, carp from actually crossing from the Des Plaines River, which we've been paddling today, over to the Shipping and Sanitary Canal, which is actually, uh, they're, they're very close to each other, probably under a mile apart. Um, and so like, a few years ago, there was a, a massive flood event that, that linked the Shipping Canal to the Des Plaines um, and allowed, you know, potential crossing of the carp from the displays to the shipping canal through this this flooded zone and so now this has been built here so that they can't you know swim upstream of the the electric barrier and then cross over to the shipping and sanitary canal um, 